my fellow Americans, come to you today with a very simple question. Very complex, but simple. The question is, are we free? Is any such nation truly free? And I bring that question up because I had the occasion to be in the Social Security Administration's office earlier today. That would be September the 15th, 2017. And the mere fact that every American must have a Social Security card and in order to drive, we must have a driver's license. In order to travel, we must have a passport. And if we think about it, I don't believe our founding fathers and mothers, our founders, truly wanted to put us in an imprisoned society. Now, I don't know when the first social security cards or social security registration or anything of the like started. But I would debate anyone who says that you have a choice. I was in a debate earlier with one of the people that works at the social security office. And he said to me, you do have freedom. He disagreed with me. So we have freedom, we have the choice. But truly, I do not know if he understood the gravity and the complexity of what my statement was. We do not have a choice if it is a requirement. We can choose, as he put it, to obey the law or laws. However, the mere fact that there is the law means that we do not actually have the freedom. Then a, another customer interjected, what would I expect? Do I want chaos? The answer is no, I do not want chaos. But our nation has been compelled, brainwashed, and taught from inclination indoctrination or indoctation or whatever the word may be indoctrination I believe it is the word to look at these liberty barriers and liberty ending in some ways as not just laws but as almost patriotic on the matter of the social security number. On the matter of these Patriot Acts and all these new acts, on the matter of driver's licenses, on the matter of passports, I say to you that when it is in fact no choice, rather a requirement, then it is not liberty and, when, and in fact we have no freedom. Which then requires us to ask if we are being truly a thought thinking person we must ask ourselves what is it that constitutes liberty what is it that constitutes freedom if we must have a passport to leave and enter our own nation, then we cannot truly have liberty. If the majority of Americans are in financial slavery or servitude, we cannot have liberty. This man, with all due respect, has not lived long enough or thought deep enough to understand the gravities and the complexities of my statement. So what would be the answer? One of them would be a truly representative Congress, both in the past and in the present, 
and in the future. But we no longer have a government of, by and for the people. With regards to the passport, the licenses, the federal ID, and the social security card. 